Hello, welcome to round one of a Shadows Draft, where our opponent mulligans will actually keep this, though. We get to come out of the gates with a rusted old sword. And if we need to draw a human before getting this provisioner to get full value, but it's definitely possible. So, opponent is scrying to the top. That's lucky. don't need more lands. This deck caps out at 5. But it does have a mad profit to, to reduce the flood. Yeah, I guess uh, six, it kind of caps out at 6 because one of the lands is... Um, gosh, what I don't remember the name even of this thing. Westvale Abbey, there it is. Ooh, so some kind of black-red deck or black-blue deck. I'm not sure how those come together, but zombies is definitely the creature type for it. <clears throat> Alright, well our wolf can kind of slam through this guy, so that's not a concern. And the heirloom can help out with that. Okay. Let's see what it is. Brain in a jar. Oh boy, what is this brew? Pretty slow. Uh, okay, so we could play Halpack Wolf or Quilled Wolf. And the advantage to Quilled Wolf is we take less damage here. We can equip the neglect n neglected heirloom. Uh, I do like that play a bit better, because if our Quilled Wolf dies, it's better than our Halpack Wolf dying, and, and we can block this turn. So, a little, not much difference there, but blocking one damage and putting a lower base power out there. Okay, nothing special yet. Um, Alright, we do have a forest. I'm going to play that. Slam in with this wolf. And then... And then I guess just pass. There's a danger that our opponent counters Pack Guardian on their turn if we let them untap. But the danger's not that high. I mean, if they do nothing, maybe we just do nothing. Looks like they're interested in <laughs> ticking up the counters here. Uh, I hope we don't get countered here. Should we play Pack Guardian? When Pack Guardian enters the battlefield, it's not too much of a danger. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, it's getting countered. That's fine. I think that was a possibility. I just didn't think it was that likely. It was more likely they attacked into it. Okay, Halpack Wolf time. Do we want to equip Heirloom to this? I don't think that's necessary. I'll just leave it back. Alright, Skeleton. Also pretty slow here. Skin invasion. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, first things first, let's attack with both. And then we can kind of ambush the, the scab here. Oh, they're both dying. Okay. I guess that's fine, too. 
Might as well keep this mountain in hand. Even though we could play it next turn to get a, the Quilled Wolf benefit. So what is going on? Our opponent just really doesn't want to take any damage at all. So what do they have this turn? Nothing again? Interesting. Well, there's two mana here. Uh, <laughs> All right, so this is nine. I do 13 with pumping the Quilled Wolf, so that's not enough, so we're just pass here. I think the most likely thing is that our opponent just doesn't have anything to do. But this could be any four mana instant or sorcery. So it's a little bit scary, I guess. has to deal with four creatures, or three, really, because any two are lethal. And if Hermit is allowed to flip, that just becomes absurd. Oh, it's going to be... Okay. <clears throat> well, that deals with two creatures, kind of. And that's it. Nice, a bit of an awkward draw. I mean, the cards are good, I guess, but yeah, blue-black just has not impressed me. All right, so how good is uh, Skin Invasion? <clears throat> it looks pretty good there. There's a few small creatures to deal with. But Root Out would be kind of fun against that thing. I really wish it kept these things hidden, like the whole point of hiding them is so you can sideboard faster, just have less to look at. Yeah, I think, well, I'm going to put in Root Out for Skin Invasion. Not sure why exactly, but Blue does have a few more enchantments that are annoying to deal with. And we saw one target that might kind of annoy our opponent at the very least. Uh, this hand's fine. It could be an early 6-5 six, six, first strike attacking, so we'll keep this. Oh wow, they got the estuary. They do a good job with these art or these land arts. Nice, we got our sideboard cards, so we're all set. <laughs> we might just win this game off of these two cards, although the skeleton does get annoying. just needs trample. Perfect mana over there. We, we're a little light on forests in this deck. But it kind of makes sense since we don't have many green cards. Oh, attacking into this for one. Well, good job. You got one damage. I would have thought that'd be better on defense. Could be that there's an answer to this Forge Master. Nope. Just some nonsense, hard to explain plays, that's all. And we are going to get our guy to flip. Nice part about that is it keeps the heirloom flipped. So this flips, then the heirloom flips. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about this deck. <laughs> I was saying how good I thought Skulk was, but without white mana to activate this, you know, I don't think giving all your creatures Skulk is worth a card. Unless you just have a ton of 1-1 tokens that you need to win with somehow. Well, there's a little skulky guy. He already has skulk, though. He doesn't need skulk. He already has it. Right, so there's no great way to deal with the skeleton. I just have to attack into it and go from there. You could steal it, I suppose. And then the uninvited Geist is not really a problem either. You can kill that anytime with the uh, struggle. So I like playing Halpak Wolf here. And trading hits. You know, our Wolf is just so much bigger than anything our opponent has. And even though they can block 6 damage a turn by paying 4 mana, they can't block all of it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this is why we need Trample, because then you know, our opponent did block it, so none of the damage will go through. And Transform, this costs 3 to equip, so can't put it on the wolf. It's funny, because Root Out would have a target here. It's just like not even clear if we need to get rid of it. Root Out the Clue. That's pretty good. The opponent gets rid of Ashmouth Blade. Oh, or the, the creature with that. All right. We just got pressed for answers. So if we draw land, I'll probably just run out the arsonists here. And then take another hit from the geist or the trespassers. Or whatever this thing is. <laughs> uh, two spells, we have to transform our guy. Not the end of the world. But yeah, as it is, we'll just finish off the um, uninvited geist. There's nothing else to do. Whispers is better saved for later in the game. To remove a blocker and sort of two for one in that sense. Okay, we have eight or more power coming attacking next turn. It's like 15. It'll be lethal if our opponent does nothing, just has no answers here. Okay. So there is a pretty good blocker. Westvale Abbey. Wow. We could do 11 here. We could attack with both and do 12. Or we could attack with both and kill the observer and do 5. But I think I just like attacking with both. And playing the arsonists. The block goes on the, the little wolf, I would think. I'm not worried about the Observer, it's the first blocker, and we can deal with that later. So let's get some more power into play. And it's so hard for our opponent to win, because we have two lethal creatures now with Uncaged Fury. 
Not to mention our whole team is lethal, especially with the whispers. There's got to be something good here. Some kind of wrath effect. All right, kill, killing that, that's a good play. But is it good enough? Probably not. We don't have enough mana to do everything, but let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can do eleven with uncaged or uh, with uh, malevolent whispers, and that's not enough. So I'll just attack with both. And the most likely thing here is our opponent blocks the Halpack Wolf and loses the game to Uncaged Fury. And if they block the Arsonists, we don't win this turn, but we trade one for zero, so that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, good game. So that's round one. And that's the power of Uncaged Fury on Large Werewolves.